Good morning, this is Don the Idea Guy from DonTheIdeaGuy.com. It is Tuesday, October 18th, and this is episode 26 of Running Through My Mind. And on this morning, as I pull into the parking lot at work, because this is the only podcast broadcast from a parking lot, uh, my brain was reflecting on morning joy. This is... uh, This concept has been running through my head since before I left uh, the house this morning, and that is just smiling in the morning. You know, what makes you smile? What puts you in a good mood in the morning? Are you one of these people that gets up and throws the curtains aside and says, God, what a good morning? Or do you shield your eyes from the sun that's slipping through that one crack in the curtains and beaming right into your eyes and get, and say, good God, it's morning. Either one of those two ways that you started your day is how you'll probably end your day. Because if you get off to a bad start, you'll probably end up with a bad day, right? Um, I always hated the... Uh, that cliched line where you ask somebody at the beginning of the week how it's going, and they go, well, it's Monday. Yes, yes, it is Monday. You can read a calendar. That's the only comment you have for the day is that it's Monday? Come on, man. The The day holds all sort of potential. Every day holds potential. Mondays, I think, especially so, because your, your brain has had a chance to rest over the weekend, and now it should be thinking of some cool stuff to put into action that week. You have the option to smile in the morning. You can choose whether you're going to be in a good mood or a bad mood from the time you get up. What are you putting into action so that you will smile in the morning? What are you putting into action so you can make somebody smile in the morning? You know, you could not just worry about your own attitude, but you could actually make somebody else's day start out awesome too. And I don't think very many people realize they have that power. You also have the power to make somebody else's day start out really lousy. But that's usually based on your own attitude. I've mentioned Jeffrey Gittimer uh, as a mentor of mine in past episodes. And he talks about attitude in terms of getting on the the airplane. They always tell you during the uh, flight attendant's segment at the beginning of your flight that most of you have not listened to in a long time, especially if you fly, because they say the same thing virtually every time. But that is, you know, if there's a loss in cabin pressure, oxygen mass, oxygen mass will drop from the ceiling. Easy for me to say. And if you're traveling with small children to affix your mask first before you help the child, The same thing goes with attitude. You have to fix your attitude first before you can help anybody else with their attitude. Do you have a morning routine to help start your day off right? I mean, aside from just running to the coffee maker, which is, which is one of the ways I start my day. It's just not the only reason. It's not the only way. It's not the only, uh, action in my sequence, right? It should not be the only sequence, the only action in your sequence either. So, uh, another friend of mine, Jason Zook, who I've mentioned in past podcasts that, uh, Jason does stuff and he's the one that did the buy my future, uh, piece that I helped promote not long ago. Jason has an interesting, um, morning routine, which involves coffee, which is great, but he gets up and goes down to make his coffee. And while he's grinding the beans and doing a, letting the beans steep because he does a manual French press uh, coffee. He takes the time to uh, do some morning stretches and then he reads from a a Calvin and Hobbes collection, which Calvin and Hobbes always made me smile. Why wouldn't you start your day with a comic, a, a, a cartoon strip that always made you smile? And the other thing he does is he checks Instagram because most of the things posted on Instagram are positive. They're inspirational and motivational. It's kind of the thing on Instagram. So rather than checking email or Facebook to see what uh, your friends have posted politically, Instagram's usually a safe bet. 
So I like that routine of taking the time to brew coffee, to stretch, to read the uh, classic Calvin and Hobbes comics, and to check Instagram for positive messages. I think that's a great routine. Uh, I also check Instagram every day. Um, But part of my efforts to start other people's day with a smile begins the night before when I do my drawing for Big Yellow Sticky. I post that every night uh, before midnight, partially because I want my content for that day to reflect what happened to me during the day. I'm frequently inspired to post content impacted by what went on that day. You know, it's basically a, uh, an artistic version of running through my mind, uh, drawn on a yellow sticky note, but also because it's the end of the day and I want to finish my day with that last positive thought for myself, but I'm planting a positive thought for people to find tomorrow morning. Because the following morning, a lot of other people like Jason are going to check Instagram for things. And if they're following me, I want this little happy bomb to go off. Maybe I can make them smile in the morning. And a big portion of the likes I get on Big Yellow Sticky content happens in the morning. So I know that I'm having some small impact on somebody's day. The other thing I've taken to doing is, because I enjoy doing the Big Yellow Sticky Notes, and those are made public, even though frequently they're they're messages to myself, I want to help my wife start her day in a better mood. She's got a tough job that she's got to go to. It drains her. She works in finance. That's got to be exhausting, especially these days, right? So I got uh, at the uh, office supply store a small magnetic uh, eraser board. You know, one of those white boards that you can write on with a marker and then wipe it off that it's uh, non-permanent. And I stuck it on our steel door that leads to the uh, garage that she goes through every morning as she leaves for work and comes home through every night on her way home from work. And I put this magnetic uh, white board up And every couple of days, I change the message and I say something nice on it. Now, you might have a board like that and you write grocery lists on it and things you have to pick up the store and don't forget to take the dog to the vet and pick up the kids at soccer practice. You know, there's a place for that. It's a calendar. You know, put that kind of stuff on a calendar. Put it in your phone as your, uh, as your, your daily planner. Keep one spot open, like I've done with this whiteboard, to write Happy messages to your spouse. I call it, I don't call it a whiteboard. I call it my wife board. I put that up there to keep my wife from getting bored. So I say things that I admire about her. I say things that I love best about her. I thank her for the things she does for me. I put fond memories up there of, uh, recently we just had our second wedding anniversary. So... The, for the week of our anniversary, I wrote up things that I loved about our wedding and our honeymoon. And I, being me, did little drawings to go with them. You don't have to draw. You just write the text. But it was little love notes, right? Little happy messages to start your day. Why don't you have one of those? Why don't you have one of those for yourself? If you've got a significant other that you're living with, Or if you're a single parent and you've got kids, why don't you do that? Why don't you leave a message for your kids? Or the person you love. Or hell, if you're living with roommates, write messages for your roommates. Write something funny. Stick a cartoon up there. Perhaps Calvin and Hobbes. There's all sorts of funny things on the internet that you can print out, cut out, and put on the board. Yeah, sure, you could email it. Yeah, sure, you could post it on Facebook. But everybody else is posting in those places too. Uh, Everybody else is getting too many emails and you're going to get lost in the shuffle. Create a gallery of giddiness. Here's another way I start my day. I start my day with coffee. Coffee makes me smile. It gives me a little boost of energy. It makes me happy. I like the sound the coffee maker makes. I like the lights that go on. My wife got me a... uh, coffee sign that lights up I can put in my little coffee area and 
part of today, part of the topic that led me to mornings was thinking about coffee because I get to welcome a new sponsor to the show today. It's Drip Joy Coffee. Drip Joy is a coffee subscription service. I think that's kind of cool. You can get a box of coffee sent to you once a month, twice a month, however fast you go through the coffee, right? But here's the thing I like about Drip Joy, and I just got my delivery of the sample boxes the other day. I love their logo because now my little coffee K-cup is going to smile at me. They call them Joy Cups because they have their own Joy Brewer, but they're K-cup compatible. I've already got a K-cup brewer, so that's what I use is the Carrick Brewer. But the little Drip Joy logo on the face of every one of their Joy Cups has a smile on it. So now whenever I put my coffee pod into the machine, my coffee smiles back at me before it even makes me smile. How cool is that? So I want to thank uh, Drip Joy for coming on board as a new sponsor. I also want to thank them for making me smile in the morning. Um, I'm going to put a photo of the uh, their cake up as the episode uh, cover art. So you can see that the little cake cup smiles at you. I think it's kind of cool. If you want more information on Drip Joy, you can go to dontheideaguy.com slash Drip Joy, D-R-I-P-J-O-Y. And you can get some more information on the different types of brews they had. This morning, uh, I was happy to sample um, their Morning Joy, which I think is uh, not just a great name for the coffee, but it's also a great name for the episode title, uh, which I've done today. So back to starting your morning out in a happy mode. Uh, your, your phone has an airplane mode. Why don't you have a happy mode? Just switch yourself over to happy if you're feeling grumpy. You, you, get, very, you get very bad reception when you're in grumpy mode. Not just mobile phone reception. Bad reception when you show up at the office. Bad reception when you come home from work. Nobody wants to meet you or greet you. Get it? So that's that's my thoughts for today on morning routines. Create a morning routine. There are plenty of gratitude journals out there that you can use that will ask you a couple of questions to start your day. Uh, there are some that ask you several questions in the evening so you can end your evening on a note of gratitude and happiness. I like the ones that do both. Uh, there are several uh, digital journals that you can use. Um, I'm going to see if I can come up with a couple quick names for them. Grid Diary is one. Uh, five Minute Journal is another. Uh, Day One app is a good one. Um, but use those to start and end your days. I think you'll find that if you take a moment to stop and think about the good stuff in your life, there's plenty to list. There's plenty of things to think about. I also think if you stop and consider the impact that you can have on someone else, how can you make them start their day with a smile? How can you make them end their day with a smile? You're going to make yourself smile just as a result, just a happy byproduct of making other people smile will make you smile because it'll make you feel good. And when you feel good, you smile. And when you smile, you look good. I think that's good for today. This has been Don the Idea Guy from DonTheIdeaGuy.com. Uh, make sure you visit the new podcast page at DonTheIdeaGuy.com slash podcast where you'll find a playlist of all the past episodes, information about the show, and if you click on an uh, episode, you also get show notes with links to it on the, the pieces I mentioned in the show, like I'll have links to the different, uh, the different gratitude apps, and I will have links to maybe a whiteboard that you can buy, the magnetic whiteboard I mentioned, and I'll definitely have a link to our new sponsor, DripJoy, uh, and you can find out more about them at dontheideaguy.com slash dripjoy. I'll talk to you tomorrow for another episode of Running Through My Mind.